Welcome to Watch Crew, your guide to exceptional timepieces. In this video, we embark on a journey through the world of watches, unveiling one of the five best timepieces you can buy. Explore style, innovation, and craftsmanship, showcasing watches that redefine excellence. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer in search of the perfect wrist companion, this guide will illuminate the path to your ideal watch. Let's dive into the realm of horological wonders together. Hamilton is a company that needs little introduction. Established in Lancaster, Pennsylvania in 1892, their watches have been seen on the wrists of prominent figures throughout history. The khaki field mechanical is available on a number of NATO straps, varying between nylon and leather and differing in color depending on which color variant of the watch you buy. I opted for the standard olive drab green NATO. Designed for legibility, the dial layout consists of a matte black face contrasted by crisply printed white numerals and a 60-minute track around the perimeter. The syringe handset, a hallmark of military watches, extends right up to the markers, making it incredibly easy to read the time. Loom is applied to the hands along with the triangular 5-minute markers, just as it would be on vintage models. The case takes on a sandblasted matte texture. It's smooth to the touch and gives off a warm, subdued sheen. The lugs have a sloped curve to them and a subtle taper that squares off nicely at the ends. The lugs are also drilled out, making spring bar changes quick and painless. The case back is nice but nothing special to remark on. It's a standard screw back with radial brushing and an engraved logo. The serial number and some specs are etched around the edges. This is a watch for the traditionalists and military nerds out there who want a taste of the old world without the risks of buying a vintage watch. It's a faithful reissue, something harder to come by than you'd expect. The Seiko Alpinist SPB-121 is a part of the esteemed Alpinist collection, known for its blend of rugged outdoor aesthetics and functional features. The case is in stainless steel and measures 39.5 mm, and really it is a great size for all wrists. The lug-to-lug -lug size is 46.4 mm, and with the original leather strap that comes with the watch, it both be used both as a dress watch and also a professional tool watch. Once you get this going, it is really simple to change the strap of the watch to a more fitting strap, depending on what you are about to attend. For a more formal dinner, the original leather strap is a good alternative, while a NATO strap might give you a more relaxed or sporty look. It is water-resistant to 200M, meaning that you are able to swim and dive with your watch without having to worry about the watch not being able to handle the static pressure. The dial is sunburst green with applied golden numeral indexes and loom dots with Seiko's own Lumi Bright. An applied Seiko logo is positioned in the center at 12 o'clock. Three lines of text and the Prospects logo can be found printed with white lettering at the bottom center of the dial. The movement of the new Seiko Alpinist SPB-121 is upgraded from the previous 6R15 to the new Seiko in-house caliber 6R35. Not only is this a more delicate and small changed movement, but the power reserve is increased to 70 hours. In conclusion, the Seiko Alpinist SPB-121 is a versatile and rugged watch that combines outdoor aesthetics with practical features. The Gentleman Parmatic 80 Silicium is, on the surface, a perfectly competent wristwatch that toes the line between dress and sport quite well. There aren't any major design flourishes here, but what Tissot does, it does well. We'll start with the case. Rendered in stainless steel, it measures 40 mm across, 48 mm lug to lug, and 11.5 mm thick, so it's in a sweet spot, size-wise, for a lot of people. From the top down, there's a dominant, polished bezel and curving lugs that square off at the end. In profile, there's a slab-sided mid-case that's been brushed to perfection, but for the polished bevels that give the case a higher-end look, slab sides can be a bit of a miss, especially on watches that are overly thick. But the case here is actually quite thin at just 11.5 millimeters, so it works. There's a push and pull crown on the right side of the case at 3.0, and it's signed with Tissot T. Powering the watch is Tissot Powermatic AE, which is a branded 80.811, which in turn is based on the ETA 2824. But this isn't a summary badged 2824. It features a boosted 80-hour power reserve, and on top of that there's a silicon hairspring. When worn, this watch looks great. It fits well, sitting close to the wrist because the case back is relatively flat, a detail that reduces excess wobbling. 
In my time with the watch, I've opted to wear it on a strap instead of the accompanying bracelet. This watch looks great on leather, and the lighter weight of a two-piece strap versus the bracelet made it far more comfortable for daily wear. The Citizen Promaster Challenge Diver Automatic is a robust and reliable dive watch that's part of Citizen's renowned Promaster collection. At 41mm wide, the super titanium case of the Citizen Promaster Mechanical Diver 200M is a fairly average-sized diver design on paper, but wears smartly compact on the wrist thanks to a handful of factors. Chief among these is the super titanium material itself. The darker hue of this proprietary material compared to stainless steel lends a slimming effect to the design overall, which is emphasized by the tightly packaged case sides. The low overall weight of this material also helps the watch to feel substantially less bulky on the wrist. Although the main case body is uniformly brushed, Citizen gives the broad tapering lugs and the slim case sides an added sense of dimension with a gently sloping rounded contour that flows from lug tip to lug tip. While most of this case design is pure classic dive watch, Citizen follows the unorthodox lead of the 70s challenge diver here and eschews crown guards in favor of an exposed, screw-down pillbox crown. Citizen uses its in-house 9051 automatic movement for the Promaster Mechanical Diver 200M. The 9051 is a mid-range staple in Citizen's modern brand lineup and offers a decent 42-hour power reserve at a 28,800 beats per hour beat rate. Through the Promaster Mechanical Diver 200M, Citizen firmly plants its flag in the fiercely contested vintage-inspired dive watch space, with a charismatic mix of tough construction, new materials, and unapologetically old-style elements that work to make this one of the most intriguing. The Bluva Lunar Pilot is a remarkable and historically significant watch that commemorates Bluva's role in space exploration. This watch is a replica of the timepiece worn by astronaut Dave Scott during NASA's Apollo 15 mission in 1971. It's known for its precision, durability, and its association with space exploration. At 45mm wide, a great deal of folks were doubtful when the Bulova Moon watch was first announced. It just seems unnecessarily large, but like all watches, you can never really tell if it'll work for you until you get it on your wrist. The case itself is 316L stainless steel with a soft, almost bead-blasted effect that results in somewhat of a muted tone. The case is around 13.5mm thick and 52mm lug-to-lug, -lug, which is probably still the biggest deal-breaker for watch enthusiasts considering the Lunar Pilot. The dial itself is deep black and extends well into the case's extremities. In other words, Bulova made great use of the space provided by a 45mm case. As a result, legibility is excellent and so are the proportions. Each one extends adequately to its corresponding track, whether it's the small white batons in the subdials or the primary hour and minute hands. There's also quite a bit of depth on display here with various layers serving to aid the display of information. Inside the 262 case, the quartz movement is accurate to about 10 seconds per year and operates at a higher frequency than most common quartz movements. In conclusion, the Bulova Lunar Pilot is a historically significant timepiece with a bold design that honors Bulova's role in space exploration.